my channel. Welcome to part two of my fast fashion versus slow fashion, where I compare pieces from my closet to my Zara haul and look for fabric, fit, and style. This is not the first time you guys see me with this big hair, right? Uh, it's dry. Okay, fine. So normally I use the L'Oreal Elnet, the satin mousse, to keep this baby tame. So fine. Let's add a bit of mousse. Black girl problems, eh? <laughs> so just like synthetic clothes, synthetic hair is very bad for the environment because they are plastic. And if you're choosing to wear your natural hair out this summer, absolutely kudos to you but if you're not and you choose to wear hair extensions please buy natural human hair because it lasts longer and it's more environmentally friendly this is my go-to option for hot summer days okay. okay now let's get to the video it's a good one <laughs> So picking up from where we left off last time, it's this gorgeous embroidery angle or open embroidery pieces from the sustainable side of Zara join life. And that's another story we'll get onto with Zara because yeah, that doesn't mean because you have a sustainable side that you're actually sustainable <laughs> because you tack it on to the fast fashion brand so that doesn't make it good but anyway i love this piece because it's cotton and i love open embroidery and at the same time zara is trying so who am i to stop them from trying the hope is that in the future zara would make the sustainable brand the dominant and the principal side of what the Zara brand is all about. So baby steps and that's all I need for it to take. So yes, I do love this piece. I love the sleeves, guys. I just love the sleeve because I'm into big sleeves and interesting shoulder details. And this piece has it. But I find that it's a bit too snug on me just across the chest area so let's see what i have in my closet so you guys have seen this outfit last week but the focus was on the skirt so now i need for you to focus on the top and as you can see this is my piece that is similar to the piece from zara and I have tons of white tops in my closet so I'm sure that I can find even more but this is the closest one that I could find at the moment so I'm sharing it here and it's a gorgeous piece and yes it's a little bit snug as well but I am so in love with it and I am so glad that I discovered rediscovered it because I love it I got it from my visit to my country and it's from a really great brand that I have never heard of but I love them because I found two pieces from them they are very well made the cotton details is to die for and this is a small this is when they made small to actually fit small and and yes I notice it too there's there's a tear right there but don't worry I repair I recycle I upcycle <laughs> so we are good for this piece but really really love it so much better than the Zara piece and this is the other piece from the same brand the dry stock separates Wow it has the same details that gorgeous cotton detail and while it's not a high neck I just wanted to share that this is also a good alternative to the piece from Zara it's summer it's airy it's breezy and it's gorgeous most importantly you don't have to go spending money to buy a new piece for $49.95 when you already have these in your closet okay on to the other pieces 
So these two dresses, you, I, I love dresses. And oh my God, I was so excited about these two pieces as well. I think they're gorgeous. Look at the gorgeous muted pink. Oh, love it. And I'm gonna be pairing them with my booty because I love booties. It's summer, I know, but I love booties. And I've been noticing everybody's wearing a booty these days anyway. So yeah, let me do my thing. So, oh yeah, guys. I mean, come on, can you, can you pair it any better? I love this piece. How can I say how much I love it? I love the contrasting black button detail. I love the fit of this dress. It is a hundred percent. Actually, I think it's a cotton, cotton blend of linen and cotton, but I'll leave the detail up there. But I love the fit of this dress. The only thing I think is that this is large and the fitting is small. And yeah, here I was trying to unbutton it so I could get more room to walk, <laughs> but I couldn't. So what I did was I returned this piece and exchanged it for the extra large because I find that the sizes for this particular dress runs very small. But I love it. It's such a great professional piece and as well as versatile for any occasion as well. So what's in my closet? Let's see what I have. Well, this is what I have. It's not much. And I think that's the reason why I kept it because I knew that I couldn't recall really having an item that is so similar to the piece that you just saw from Zara. This is a piece that is a waistcoat and you know me, I love to make my pieces into dresses. If you see my video on how to make your duster coats to dresses, this is what I did with this piece. So I kept the piece from Zara because I love it. So onto this second piece. This is a khaki shirt dress and oh my God, I have a love-hate relationship with this piece. Reason being is that one, I love it because of those button details as well as the fact that it has gorgeous frills at the bottom. As you can see, they are ruffles. It also has that nice detail at the waistline that emphasizes your waist. And of course, yes, it has splits on the side. But that price, guys, I couldn't justify that price at all. I don't think it's worth $79.90 or $95, whatever the price you're seeing there. It's not worth it for me. And while I take fabric, fit, and style into consideration, I also take the price as well. So for me, it wasn't giving me the right fit either. While the button detail at the sleeve is fluttering on most, I find that when it is, when the sleeve is that length on me, it's not fluttering against my elbows. So I love the style a bit, but not so much the fit so this is not a piece i kept because of the price as well as the fit but the fabric is great uh, on to these two pieces guys ah uh, this is a black dress i love i love a black dress a professional black dress because it just makes you walk into the meeting and you, you just feel confident. You feel prepared for anything when you're wearing a powerful black dress. And this for me is a really, really great piece. But while I was contemplating whether or not I should keep it, I realized that of course I have to go look into my closet. And it is a great piece for anybody who doesn't have a black powerful dress in their closet but i do and it is made of good fabric by the way it's a hundred percent cotton i think so that's great but i do have this piece and i love this piece from h&m and i got it about three or four years ago i do wear it 
it is not of the greatest fabric it is polyester i am sure it is <laughs> but i love the details on it and i wasn't paying attention at the time as you guys know but i'll be wearing this piece to death as i've promised so it has the same style details and i love that and here i'm pairing it with all black which again is a great powerful piece when you walk into the meeting so it's a great substitute so i didn't see the need to actually keep the zara piece because it is also priced at 79.95 so i couldn't justify it knowing that i have this piece and it's the same as well this is another piece that i have this is a piece from zara yes this is a piece from zara and it is very similarly made yes the fabric again sucks it's polyester but i love the frill details on the sleeve i love the sleeve details and again it's a really great power piece when you're into that power dressing when you feel like dressing up it is definitely a great monday piece or if you feel like making it a friday piece go right ahead who am i to stop you but yeah these are two excellent pieces that i have in my closet and i actually love now onto this other piece this is a top that this is definitely the style that is in and i love me a great off shoulder i love anything that is off shoulder that shows the clavicle the yeah i love to show my neckline so i i i fell for this piece but at the same time i also need to go look into my closet it goes beautifully with almost anything great for my high-waisted pants and you know i have a lot of those right <laughs> so it was really really a struggle to not just keep this piece and forget my closet but i have to otherwise it would bug me so this is also a hundred percent cotton slash linen as well but it's also a broderie angle so it's gorgeous but i have this piece this is a piece that i got from pretty little thing and while I don't always shop from Pretty Little Thing because it had messed me up a couple years ago with some polyester that I didn't like, this is a piece that I love. And I love it so much that I got it in all three or four colors. Four colors. As well, I also have this dress. And this is a dress that I wear also as a top in the summer it's gorgeous and it has the same detail oh it has the same detail that just shows you the shoulders oh i love my shoulders out i love my neckline my clavicle out so this has the same details as the top that you just saw so i took it back because that a 49 dollars i could save and i do love the pieces from my closet so, did you like it if you do please leave a comment below and give this video a thumbs up and if you're new please subscribe and remember sustainability matters which means you focus on natural fibers fabric then fit then style and you don't buy new polyester items polyester is bad so thank you guys so much for watching and as i always say remember to always love yourself and to accept your perfect imperfections because they are what make you unique and drop dead gorgeous love you